How's it going guys? My name is Graham and I'm back for more death and punishment and fear and hunger. I, I just didn't get enough of that last time. It just it just went so swimmingly that I just knew I had to have more. But seriously, I, I've been thinking about this game so much over the last few days and just itching for a chance to play more of it. I knew I wanted to come back to it. I just needed time to record because I, I know I'm not going to have nice save points. I need to have an opportunity where I'm going to have like an hour plus ahead of me to, to record. Uh, I, I ended up coming up with weird uh, reference gothic combination names for these different characters. Let me know if you guys like any of them. Also, if you guys come up with silly names for any of them in, in the comments, I'll try to do runs or attempts with the different characters using some of the names that you guys came up with. I don't know how long this series is going to run. I'll try and use as many of them as I can. But this guy, uh, someone said he looked a little bit like... He belonged in Castlevania. I thought he looked like he belonged in a Tim Burton movie. So he could either be Tim Belmont or Simon Burton. That could be this guy. Brienne of Darth. It was hard to come up with a dark-related name that rhymed with Darth. Uh, this guy, he basically just looks like Grima Wormtongue. So he could just be Grim Wormtongue, maybe? Something like that. And Omen. The Barbarian, which is a name that I'm particularly proud of. I thought Omen the Barbarian was uh, was kind of a clever one. <laughs> and we haven't tried that, so let's try the Outlander, actually. He's, he's hardy, made for surviving. I'll just fit what I can. Good enough. That's good enough to go forward with. We haven't seen this guy's uh, introduction or anything like that. I'm not going to give a big, heavy spiel about how grotesque this game is. You guys could just... Uh, be aware of that at this point and steer clear if that's not something you're going to be into. So, how did did Omen's life shake down? You were born with the soul of the tormented. Well, off to a bad start, man. That's a bad omen, I'd say. You are destined to struggle in every step you take in life. But this just ultimately makes you stronger physically and tempers your iron will that rivals the will of the gods themselves. I don't think everything that doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Some things just kill you or make you weaker. It's not absolute. You had a balanced childhood in the city of Old Guard, with both of your parents always present. That's really good. Too bad about the tormented soul thing, though. Your father, I guess that's the balance. Tormented soul, good parents, that evens out. Your father taught you in the art of war. The very first step was to choose your weapon. Oh, having ranged weapons could be cool in this game. That's not something we've done yet, but having a shield seems really, really great right now. Uh, mace and buckler. Winters grew colder and summers shorter, which resulted in a great hunger in the north. The fine men of the old guard set sails to the unknown west in a desperate attempt to find food and riches to feed the people. You had grown into your manhood. Didn't that's That's impressive. It grew first and you grew into it? That's doesn't seem to be the usual. Usually they grow in tandem, but must have been an impressive toddler. <laughs> God, uncomfortable subject. I guess it just fits the game. And aborted, <laughs> aborted the ship. After months of sailing, the sea saw no end, and the crew was struggling for their life. Some laid weak under the deck while some embraced the cold, dark sea. Does that mean they just got into it, they enjoyed their life as a sailor, or they drowned? As the weak met their fate... So the, the latter. The rest indulged in the greatest sin. Devour your fallen comrades. Ooh, but maybe that would, like, harden up your stomach for eating rotten meat later. You learn devour? He's a, he's a bit of a messed up life here. The, the balance that it said before is tipping, I'd say. As if the trip wasn't dark enough. When you finally found land, it was something no one in the civilized world could ever imagine. From the far reaches of the world, you found the dark continent of Vinland. The continent had never been touched by a civilized man. The land was tainted, tainted by ancient deities and gods you had never heard of. The things you witnessed there left a mark in you that could never be washed away. Some of your comrades lost their minds, while others tried to pillage anything worthwhile before leaving the macabre place. Take seven years. Probably cursed. I, I, I don't plan to be overly superstitious, but we've been erring on kind of the messed up side, what with the cannibalism and all. 
An ancient artifact was brought from the Dark Continent. You knew it was a mistake, but the choice wasn't in your hands. So it came anyways nuts. Was it King Kong? <laughs> While you were hunting away from home, a mercenary army raided your village. Upon your return, you witnessed your home burning, your family slain, and the artifact stolen. Those who survived the raid described the army and its captain. He was a famous captain from the fabled mercenary army, Knights of the Midnight Sun. Hmm, that came up in with uh, when playing as the knight. You immediately packed and left after him. The man would witness the iron will tempered in the north and in the dark continent of Finland. Pretty, pretty nice sprawl of a background there. Equipment, food, healing items. I wonder what good rushing would do. Ah, there we go. You learned dash. I kind of just figured, like, all of those provisions and everything sound great. It seems like taking nothing would be bad, but we're definitely not going to catch him, I wouldn't think. But you've learned that the man has since been imprisoned in the kingdom of Rondin's dungeons, in the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. Of course, my fave. My number one dungeons. I, I love these guys. Give them a visit every, every chance I can get. So I, I'll just do the usual cruise through all of these uh, these crates and barrels and everything. Also a great place to stock up on silverware. <laughs> and then then we can head on down. Uh, I think I've kind of discovered that the best option is through the front door here. I'm hoping, I'm feeling confident that I've learned things and that I am I'm, I'm not going to get totally, totally boned this time. But I don't know that for sure. I'm just being hopeful. Whoa. Give sword? Hell no. What? What do I start with? Uh, maybe, maybe if I... I don't have a short sword, do I? Mm, so maybe if I tried to do it, it would just be like, you don't have one, dude. Uh, right now I only have the one weapon, so I'm not messing around with that. Some people in the comments say I didn't really interact with everything I could. It doesn't seem like you can interact with those big crates still, but there's like stuff like things on the table that I was missing before, so I'll try and be more thorough. There's a guest book on the table. I assume it's on, not one, because it would be weird to have many guest books. Someone has written passages here. You're supposed to write your name, silly. This nightmare has taken its toll on me. I am devolving into a something far lesser than the man I once was. All the high morals and ethics, I have no value here. The things I've done to survive. Well, I'm a cannibal, so is it as bad as that? There's no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I'm a part of these dungeons now. Part of this never-ending nightmare. Just a one more cog in the machine of fear and hunger. In a way, I find it comforting. I have a definite place in this wicked world. But I'm writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down into this darkness. Do leave it, if it is possible. You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the Book of Fears with you. I've been told that uh, books are quite important, that you do gain things from a lot of different books, including lore. The lore is cool, but like, you might get some pretty useful stuff. Written about different phobias. The Book of Fears and Phobias. Necrophobia, fear of death, dead and corpses. Phasmo is ghosts. Rabdo is a uh, rhubarb. <laughs> Erotophobia, fear of sex and genitals. Oh, errata, not eroto. <laughs> That's whatever. That, and then fear of animals and something else. I clicked off of it. I don't really feel the need to go back. That was accidental, but that's fine. We can move on. Erotophobia, that's me. I, I just love me some good old erotica. It's, uh, some people think it's kind of trashy, but I don't know. It gets me going. It's, uh, it's good on a cold, lonely winter's night. Curling up with some good erotica. Also some carrots. Getting as many carrots as possible is always good. I should look at my skills or whatever if, if uh, at all possible. Run. Everyone has that. Devour. A barbar barbaric trait of devouring the carcass of your enemies to ease hunger. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, and dash. Your movement speed increases greatly. Running can prove out to be a really valuable skill. So, is that passive? It just means I... I wonder if I can use that in a battle, or if it just means I'm better at fleeing when when it comes down to it. Uh, some maggoty flour. I guess I could have... I guess I could have stopped and read. There was a bit more flavor text going on than what I initially saw. 
Ooh, what's this on the floor here? It looks like there's a little purple thing there. Can't have it. Not willing to share. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit. I just want to see if I can... If I go far enough away, if the guard gets reset. Because I... I mean, I am at full health right now, so maybe now is as good a time as any, but... Shit. Makes you wonder how the rest of the old fortress holds up. Shit. Go somewhere else, you dick. He's not gonna, is he? He's just gonna camp out in that corner. <sighs> what if I just bail on all of this super hard? Ooh, did I just run out towards the wolves, though? Nothing's eating the horse. Ah, uh, I could just... I could just explore down here a little bit. It's creepy as hell down here, and I don't like that. Is this one... Can you give a sword to this one? No, that's, like, really specific to that one precise stone over there. So that's very interesting. I feel like I'll have more luck down here because I don't have to fight a do uh, guards right away. There's those weird hovering dudes with their like tentacles and stuff who are much less threatening overall. It's like a good opportunity to wrangle up a bunch of uh, bunch of resources and stuff. So I, I think I'll stick down here for a little bit longer. Uh, I've already I've, I've I've come across most of this before. Interesting to learn that the game. Uh, oh fucking! I forgot about this stupid part. God, I can't. Wait, that's not even where it normally is, is it? Now I don't even know anymore. Now I don't know anything. <laughs> but uh, I hate this. I hate this stupid witch. Uh, he's not even he's not even showing up. I don't know what to do about it, and I don't want to waste the time investigating anything. There he is. All right, well, I, I, have a, I have a second. I have a hot second. I'll, I'll grab some dirt. Why the hell not? Oh, shit. Okay. But uh, it's interesting. Now that I've done it enough times to totally, like, confidently learn that uh, what you find where is randomized. But the, the layout of things is totally pre-planned, which you wouldn't expect in a game like this. But then you also have the, uh, the positive or the... I'll force it. That was his... Oh, God, okay. I thought that was a mistake. I thought I was about to die or something from that. I probably don't have what it takes to knock down a metal door, but I can certainly take a whale at it. Uh, yeah, there's all the coin flips and all the other things. Random chance uh, that happens within encounters and everything like that. So the game stays fresh from run to run, but it's kind of nice because there's like a learning curve because you can start figuring out where the hell you can and can't go. I thought for some reason that there was uh, one of these whirlpool things over in this area. It's It's been a few days, so I guess I'm just wrong. I guess I was just thinking of the one that I did fall into. I'm going to book it up here and grab the, the armors. Maybe, ooh, maybe I can find a sword to go put upstairs in the stone because I want to see what that's all about. That seems like it would be cool. Iron Curious, I think that's like a, a wrist guard or something, isn't it? Uh, maybe, maybe maybe that's a full armor set. I don't know if certain armors and stuff are going to be good for specific characters or not. Plate helmet. Well, you didn't have that before, so I'd say that's probably better. It says to just go for it. So I'm guessing that those bits of armor are, are worthwhile overall. Let me just... Just run on past. No need to make it a thing. No need to get personal about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good sneaking, buddy. Mm. I think you can only get there by dying. And then you... I, I think I got there... I was starting to feel hungry. Opium. Several things of opium. Probably lowers fear. Although you would think that it would make you much, much more fearful. <laughs> You'd start seeing shit and wigging out. I don't really know how powerful opium is. Um... But yeah, I think you shit. I think you have to die and crawl out of that slimy flesh world, and then oh shit! Look at my skills. Maybe can't dash in battle. What's the exclamation point? That's no good. I don't want that. <laughs> but yeah, it is not worth dying strictly for the purpose. Oh man, that armor is doing a good good job here. Strictly for the purpose. Of crawling out of there to try and get a chest, you know? Hmm. Inject sounds bad. Maybe I got startled? Maybe because this thing approached me? I think you have to take out its its limbs before you take out its head. 
I kind of theorized that would be the case. I'm going to go ahead and, like, commit that as being absolutely true. Shit. Come on, man. You got to make it through this without losing a limb. I want to I wanna just, like, normally win a battle with everything intact. Let's eat it. That's like a skill you have. Make use of your skill. Yes. Devour all of it. You devoured the remains? Hunger. Totally gone. And... So you do wipe out any other interacting with it that you could possibly do, though. So it's not... Not perfect. <laughs> it's not the best system. Shit. I guess I have to use more of those vials than I was hoping to. I don't have any recipes in this run yet, either. I haven't, uh, haven't investigated any libraries or anything. Turns out this little side area is not that large. There's not a... Oh, there is more over here. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I... I do I commit going this way? Or do I go back to that, that top main area with the guard? I am curious. I do kind of want to explore that further. I feel like I haven't given that a very thorough look through ever. Usually because I get messed up by those guards. Maybe he will have moved on. Maybe it will give me the chance I need to slip past. And also I'm super curious about the short sword thing. So I, I'm kind of hopeful I just happen to find a short sword that I can donate. <laughs> donate to the slot. Oh, he's still right there. Shit. I basically have to fight him. <gasps> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is going to be perfect. Come on. Come on, yes. Yeah! <laughs> we don't have to fight him at all. He can get bent. I don't know if there's more than one guard. I feel like there's only going to be the one. I don't know that for certain, but it seems like a pretty safe bet. Distribution of army units on the table. List of inmates among the other papers and documents. Um, I think I did read that before and didn't really get anything useful out of it. Can't make out the handwriting. Same as before. Okay, nothing I can do with that. Hello? There seems to be a little girl inside the cage. She's hiding her face from you. What do you want to do? I don't think I want to use the, the vial. Talk, she's just sobbing. Are you okay? You don't want to call her a monster. Oh shit, there are more guards. Talk? Are you a monster? She doesn't respond. Obviously, she wasn't going to respond to that. It wigs me out. The, the guard gets the opportunity to move, like, every time I, I'm done with this. The cage is locked. Shit, I found a key on my last run, I think. What would the vial do? What good would the vial do? The girl's staying quiet. Okay. Okay. Uh, girl has... Zoophobia. Oh, I get to learn everyone's fears. Okay, let me open that book back up again because I kind of accidentally closed it and maybe there is something uh, you could actually learn about your individual character's fears here and then try and do something about it. Fear of animals and beasts and I have teratophobia, fear of monsters and malformations. So across the two of us, we're afraid of everything. Everything we're going to find in these dungeons at the very least. I mean, come on. She has better body... That's terrible. She's a little girl, but you know what I mean. She has better body stats than I thought. Like, 100 seems good, doesn't it? You can have some armor. Maybe that'll keep you a little bit safer. Do you have any skills of any kind? No skills. She's level 2. <laughs> There's that. I am too, I guess. Okay. I'll keep you safe as best as I can with the shit. There's a zombie chilling out there. I don't want to deal with a zombie. Let's just read books. <laughs> Reading books is a much better pastime than fighting zombies. I'm getting real lucky with the coin tosses. Ooh. I like to be enlightened from time to time. Mm, some nice zombie butt going on up there. Really, he's really showing, showing us everything he's got there. Doesn't isn't he? Doesn't he? <laughs> All of it, any of it. This can't. I can't get it right yet again. Yeah, it had, it had to fail eventually. All right. I don't want to have to feed both of us. So I'm not super stoked on that. I'm just going to start crushing eggs and stuff. I just am feeling a little bit peckish. I don't need a full meal. Just a couple raw eggs to keep, keep me going. Keep my metabolism hot. Studies a Sylvian. 
Oh, this is this whole thing. I've totally read all about her in another one. So uh, we've seen enough of multiple boob lady. We don't need to learn more about her. Monks from the East have written this book, the Book of Enlightenment. I actually used that one. It's gone now. I have the hiccup, sorry, but it, it's, I saw it remove itself from the inventory there. The book radiates light in every corner of the spectrum, in every color, maybe corner as well, maybe both. You feel like the journey has just begun, as if your existence since this moment has been like watching someone else entirely. You feel a perspective shift in your surroundings, as if everything was to shrink or perhaps you were to ascend higher. You gain better understanding of yourself. The link between your mind and body has started its deterioration. Oh, that seems like a bad thing. I feel like I want mind and body intact as much as possible. Oh. So that's one way to save. Maybe this is the risk-free version of saving? It crumbles into dust before your very eyes. Shit. But, did I, did I like, permanently, permanently damage my body and mind? There's still 100 and 100... But maybe I lose my mind more quickly and stuff now. I never, never <laughs> expected to have a save opportunity. I feel like I wasted it, but now at least I know that that exists. Don't mind us. We're just we're just rifling around looking for more things to read. Uh, there's a note on the table. Death is the answer. Th it seems like it did good for this guy. Wait a second. This isn't. Uh, is this is this my own character? The crazed prisoner is accompanied by an awful stench. I just saw that his his hands were bloody, and I thought he was missing his hands. He's got a like a total golem look there with the gray skin and the loincloth. Um, but I had that one character, that, like the first ever character I had, I think, uh, who's a mercenary who got their arms ripped off. This might still be that character, and that just might be like it regrew its arms or whatever. Dying in this game might actually re like make things harder for future runs that is my thinking on what happened here i hope i'm right because that's kind of cool it's kind of messed up uh you can try and attack too little girl but my theory is that you're gonna be so crazy useless punch him straight in the dick and it still did zero so not very good at what you do are you i'll do my best to protect you but if your dick punch can't even do anything then like I'm sorry, there's not a lot I can do for you, little girl. I borderline don't even want you on the team, because I'm i I'm scared for your well-being here. Like, if you could just stand behind me and not get involved, that would probably be for the best, right? What? It's staring at me with its dead fish eyes. I tried to hit it in the head. Did I miss? Or did it just not do as much damage as I wanted? There we go. He keeps on fighting even without its head? Okay, but he can't bite me anymore, right? And the biting was kind of, seemed like it was doing the most, the most damage. I was most concerned about the bites. Frig, his limbs still held on. That's too much, dude. Okay, his entire torso. Oh, so his leg, he doesn't just drop a leg and then stand on one leg at a weird angle. That is, his leg is dead. Or as dead as it can be, I suppose. Do you know what you could be doing right now, little girl? Feeding me healing potions. That's a much better use. That's a, that's time well spent there. So thank you. Thank you for taking part. He loses its balance with its legs cut. There, now we have you. Good luck living through that shit. Uh, the herb by itself is nowhere near as good as the potion, but it's all I got. So even if we killed it, oh, we didn't even kill it. I was wondering, even if we killed it. Okay, that sucks. We killed it. It still gets the chance to do one last attack. That seems like that would be a really great opportunity for the game to be mildly forgiving for a change. I should have looked at my hunger. Yes, eat him, I guess. Feels a lot less hungry. You might as well just chow, chow down. Let's see if we can find you a healing potion, dude. Mock-up book. I don't know what good that'll do. It doesn't sound very interesting. Hmm. Not what I thought it was. Empty book with just wooden covers. Hmm. Well, maybe someday we'll we'll think of something to write in it. Mm, no. Well, I'll investigate the door. 
Oh, shit, I can immediately go through it. All right, I'm going to investigate the level a little more, although I know there's a guard generally in this area. The, the whole save us thing. I know there's a guard down here because I saw him stomping around earlier when I was in uh, investigating the cage. Maybe he moved on. Maybe I have a chance to, to rummage around for more goodies before anything terrible happens. Sacrificial, sacrificial circle for the older gods. To appease the gods. Oh. I could save the girl. I'm not doing the fertility and love thing. It's a little damn girl. So what, what was the one who likes human sacrifices? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little girl. But this is better than the alternative. Yes. The girl seems to struggle a little. Oh. With the sacrifice, your affinity with the Grogoroth is growing. Oh, that was chilling. I didn't like that. The girl was killed here already. I don't know what good that does. I don't know... I don't, I'm never going to feel good about it, but, like, was it even remotely worth it? Is my main question, like, is any, any th remote good going to come from that? I mean, shit, man. I'm trying to find out what my, I have, like, two, I have, like, a hurt foot and I don't know what that other symbol is. The two things above the hunger, though, I, I, I there, I have no idea what any of those are. I guess we just carry on further down. The courtyard. Hey, I've been here before. I just came at it from a completely different way. Now I don't even remember how... I, I know I got there from, like, the north or whatever. I don't think I jumped down the well. I wonder if I should confirm that. I don't remember seeing that spooky door before. Obviously, it must have been there. Oh, but maybe this one is locked? No, I can go through that way still. But spooky door? What's the deal with spooky door? You try to open the door, but it doesn't it doesn't budge. Investigate. Purifying talisman seems to react to the markings on the door. When did I get a purifying talisman? I feel like I had one on a different character. Was that a good thing that I just did? Huh, it burned brightly. Alright, not into the well today. I'd much rather see what this is. The inner hall. Maybe it was a mistake coming to these dungeons. Yeah, you think, dude? I haven't found anything good or worthwhile in them so far. That's for certain. There's something written here. The Hexen creates a connection to the gods, both new and the old. To get closer to the older gods... I already did a sacrifice, dude. I feel like we're pretty close right now. You must work your way up and gain their affinity. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. Shit, I don't... Uh, is that birth sign? Is that what that is on there? Uh, I don't know what I'm, I have. I don't know what mine is. I don't know what my hexen is. Or I don't want to curse my equipment. What is all this? What is it asking? The hexen table stands here ominously. Use... Oh, use the hexen. Grade your shit. So I already have dash. I don't have any souls. What? Damn it. Ah, uh, so is is this... Oh my god, I'm trying to go over to here. Is... I don't... Navigating this is fucking stupid. It just jumps you around it like crazy. Is this the one that I'm in? Because it's lit up a little bit. Is this the one I could work towards? Because Blood Golem would be dope. I would like Blood Golem, please, if, if I can. Oh, I hate navigating this shit, though. God damn, that's hard to direct it where you want it to go. It just jumped all over the place. Huh. That wall looks suspicious. Apparently, it's nothing. That's all that there is in that area? Do I go back in, or do I hop down... Oh, right, this whole place that I totally blew past and ignored previously. Do I get involved? Studies of Grogoroth. 
I, I mean, I worshipped him once already today. Maybe I read a little bit about him, too. Oh, I bet there's a chance I can initiate a battle or something in this. It's just nothing of interest. All right, before I go die by intervening in whatever these guys are doing, let's read about Grogoroth, because, you know, we should probably know a little bit more about the guy that we're killing little girls for. Studies of Grogoroth 1, to give room for new generations, for new trees to grow and usher, the prior forest needs to be burnt down. Such is the rule of creation. Creation and destruction. One does not exist without the other. The destruction is called Grogoroth, the destroyer of men. A man fears destruction because a man gets accustomed to peace and quiet. The man grows fat and afraid of change. But change is inevitable just as the Grogoroth. But there is no need for fear as the destruction is of a pure kind. It does not target one man specifically, it just exists. Interesting note on Grogoroth. <laughs> just a tiny little spicy tidbit on the side. He is a curious kind, more so than many of the other older gods. To relieve the feeling of fear, Grogoroth wears bodies and skin of men and women alike. He might be walking, oh not, so he like disguises himself as them. Probably by skinning them and wearing their skin. But not necessarily, so let's say it's something less disgusting. <laughs> he might be walking among us, masked under the skin of people and hanging bodies, blessing us with his blood magic. Oh shit, I'm getting more hungry as I'm reading all these books. Uh, so one of those hanging dudes out in the courtyard might be might be this guy is like the the main thing I'm hearing from that there. How did I get so hungry all of a sudden? I, I got out of control hungry. You start chowing down on all your delicious, delicious provisions here. Get you a nice variety of meals as well while we're at it. Cannot interact with that. All right, what's your guys' deal, okay? Priest, they will create an idol out of our fears. Shit. Shit. Should have estimated or presumed that something like that would happen. I think Bale is my answer. Tries to escape. Dope. No thanks. If you're going to let me like just skirt around you, that's the option I'm taking. No need to make a make a big deal out of it or anything. I'm just going to go upon my merry way and not take part in your crazy death rituals. I think that's win-win for everyone, wouldn't you say? Oh, I just scooped blood into a vial? I didn't mean to. It was just kind of a thing I did as I was clicking through things. Doesn't say what good it would be for. I just have it in case I ever end up needing it. Skinning knife. That? And then maybe I can skin things rather than just eating them all the time, but eating things is pretty damn useful overall. So I do like having multiple options. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, come on. Footsteps are closing in. Buckman. At least he's not going to fight me yet. Maybe still. Ah! No, wait. You're a sane one, right? Right? Yeah, of course. I'd be dead otherwise now. You look dead already, dude. You look kind of green. I guess I look kind of green, too. I don't have time for this. Listen, I've been lost in these dungeons for what feels like a lifetime. My sense of time has become blurry. It might be years, months, or... I fear even just weeks. I just cannot handle it any longer. I feel my mind giving up already. I just can't. I don't know what business you've got here. But if I were you, I'd run as fast as possible. If escaping this place is even possible anymore at this point. I paraphrased accidentally. What was that? I heard some like laughing or something too. I'm going to come hide with you, dude. Are you not going to help me? Why me? This darkness is suffocating me. Was there legitimately something coming? There's that button that I avoided stepping on last time that I'm going to continue to avoid stepping on because it seems like it would be a bad choice. Bone saws are good. Oh, it would shoot that arrow at you or whatever that hole in the wall is there, presumably. Uh, in my inventory, I saw that bone saws are good for curing infections. I have no infections current currently, so I think I'm safe. Hmm. So this is totally where you come... Oh, another dude. Who are you now? But this is totally where you come out of uh, with the weird flesh area. 
Well, this guy's definitely just a torturer. He just made the world's worst fake name of all time. Did the other guy have a really terrible fake name and I'm just too dumb to realize what it was? <laughs> oh, who might you be? I have something to show you in case you'd be interested. Would you like to sh see it? No, because it sounds like torture. Are you sure? This is your last chance. No, I don't want it. You leave me no choice in this case. Fucking, he was going to fight me either way, wasn't he? Wretched being stands in front of you. What a disgusting little goblin of a man. Well, I really do need to heal myself immediately. I have no time to, like, do anything else. I don't think it's going to heal me enough. Shit. Not even close. In that case, now I'm bleeding, I think, if I understand that correctly. Maybe I just try and talk to this dude. I've never tried talking to anyone. You can still surrender and be a good child. I need new test subjects. I'm a doctor, you see? Wait, I know a test subject for you. Oh, let's rat out the other dude. Oh, what are you talking about? There's a man hiding in a cell. Yes, please do go on. I'll show him to you. Good, good. Tror, tror, tror lowers his weapons. It's the first time I even attempted to say this Frankenstein's name. What? What is the meaning of this? That's not a pseudonym. It's not a fake name. Buckman is a pretty normal damn name. <laughs> Little piggy, you ran away from me once. Your running days are over. I sold this guy out so damn hard. I'm going to bear witness. I'm coming along for the ride. I thank you for a beautiful test subject. As a token of appreciation, you can have these. Oh, second floor key. And two light blue vials. What is the light blue? Is that better? If you find any more subjects, please let me know. I'm so sorry, Buckman. How? How could you sell me out? Because I want to live, and it seemed like by not selling you out, I was going to die. Uh, light blue, full, full on. Yeah, the light blue is great. Oh, hey, we're going to pull through this. This seems to have been the right choice. I'm sorry you got so screwed in the process. Thank you for the subject. <laughs> Really, really weird way of laughing. Uh, okay, if you feel satisfied, I feel satisfied. We can part ways. Both feel good about what we've done. I'm piecing on out of here, dude. This is going real, real well for me. Much better than previous attempts. Guess uh, Omen. It might have been a good omen after all. Oh shit, there was this whole area I hadn't even gone to. Fuck. Oh, that startled me. I got hit by an arrow and I'm bleeding. Oh, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it did. Fuck, and I guess I guess you gotta keep an eye out for traps. Oh, now I know that now I know there's a guard like right there. Shit, if I'm bleeding, how do I how do I fix it? What's my What's my solution? What do I do about that? Probably don't drink blood. Probably don't use dirt. Water? That doesn't, that wouldn't, effective against infections, I don't think that would be any good. Apparently I have a shitload of purifying talismans. Don't know why I have so damn many of them, but that's a thing. I don't know what would cause that arrow to shoot, it freaks me out. That body pile is also wigging me the hell out. Do I just test my might against a guard? Do I, like, brave the fact that maybe I've learned enough to deal with this at this point? Human Hydra. I'm a hungry. Bring us food, human. Uh, rip one head off? No, don't do that. What do you eat? Humans, of course. Bring us sacrifices. Oh, shit. If we sold that little girl, I could have brought her to here. Mm, that's just a toilet. There's a bloody toilet hole you could fit through the hole. Let's just look. <laughs> I was so tempted. You see nothing but darkness. The smell is awful, however. The smell is a mixture of death, blood, feces, and semen. For whatever reason. For whatever reason, it's a little bit of everything. Because, of because of course, it would be is the main thing. Ah, oh, shit. I'm never going to get past this guard now. I either have to fight him or climb into the shithole. are seemingly my options. I'll just wait and see if he comes back. Ah, oh, shit. 
I lost sight of him. I don't think he's coming back. Oh, maybe he went a different way. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Maybe I can lure him into the trap so he can shoot himself with the trap. Maybe that's not how that works. Fuck, now I'm just bleeding out, running around, wasting energy, having to keep myself fed and everything. The hunger side of the fear and hunger is really setting in, and the, the, fear, is, the fear is not too far off either, I would say. I do have one more of those vials if it came down to it, but I wouldn't want to use it again so immediately. Shit. Ah, he doesn't set off the trap. I thought I could bait him into that. This seems so dumb and so totally like the wrong idea, but let's, let's see. The shit pit. You're knee deep in feces. This seems like it was a mistake, maybe? The walls are covered in mucus and all things are horrible. It seems to be hopeless. You fail to get a grip on anything. It appears to have been a mistake jumping down here. It was literally an outhouse. The first character I've ever felt like I was dunning, doing well with is going to die because I jumped down a shithole. That's... That's a shitty way to end <laughs> come on oh. crap at least there was that one save point although that was so early on that I don't even know if that counts for anything I'll try again I'll, I'll next time I'll fire things back up I'll try to carry on from that save point I'll see if I can salvage this, I'll, I'll try and recreate things as much as I can up until that point. I don't know if, I don't know if all the randomness, like what is found on what shelves and what barrel and everything will reset or if it'll be the same, if that's already been saved. I have no idea. I, that'll be worth finding out, I guess. That could be interesting. In the meantime, this will still, it'll still be the same character next time, but remember to give me suggestions for your gothic fun versions tell me which character you would want to name and what your name would be and i'll, I'll try and incorporate some of them because i think that would be a silly fun thing that we could do i'm sorry this was such an underwhelming ending that sucks <laughs> but maybe i've talked enough at the end here that people would just see there's several minutes left in the video and not realize that it's ending all of a sudden but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon hopefully with less feces involved